What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the official CyanogenMod Mod 9 ROM, which is based off Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4 for the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for AT&T, and of course also the Rogers version of the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE. And it is compatible with both versions because they're very similar in hardware, and I'll show you that right now. So this is the official CyanogenMod Mod website. Click Devices. There's the Samsung Galaxy S2, then click Wiki, FAQ. Okay, so for you Rogers users like myself, here you have it. And there is official support, it says yes. In order to get it up and running, please refer to the Galaxy S2 Skyrocket full guide. So it works for both versions, okay? There's your proof. Um, by basically following this video, if something goes wrong, you permanently damage your device, so you're doing so at your own risk. If you have any problems, try to ask in the Cyanogen Mod forum, because I'm not the developer, they are. So if you have any issues, try to ask them, okay? Uh, what else? So basically, to, in order to download it, you're going to go to this link, which will be in the description below, and you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff that says nightly. You're going to ignore all of those and go look for the one that says RC. RC basically stands for Release Candidate. Uh, it's basically a stable version, whereas Nightly stands for like a experimental version. So ignore Nightly's, get RC. Click the zip, download it, and of course you must also go to this page, which will, I will also give you in the description below. You're gonna scroll down practically at the bottom of the page, as you can see, and look for Sanogen Mod 9. And then from here, you're going to download from the download link or the mirror one link. doesn't matter, but it must be Cyanogen Mod 9. This includes the Google apps like Google Play Store and Gmail. The Cyanogen Mod team has to keep it separate for legal reasons. Uh, at least that's what their website says. Okay, so I gave you the warnings. I showed you where the links are. Oh, okay, so basically, before you can even continue even further, you must be rooted and your device must also have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you're running... Uh, Rogers Galaxy S2 and you have Gingerbread which is Android 2.3 point something and you want to know how to root click the link over here if you're running the uh, Galaxy S2 for AT&T and Rogers and you're also running Gingerbread and you want to know how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery click the link here AT&T users if you're running Gingerbread I don't know how to root your device I don't have a video for that so I apologize um, for AT&T and Rogers users, if you have upgraded to the official ice cream sandwich update that comes from AT&T or Rogers, you want to know how to flash recovery and root your device, then click that link here. Okay, it works for both versions. So now that's all good and all done, or at least it should be, we can continue on. So those two zip files I told you about earlier, you're going to just basically put them in your internal SD card. You don't need an external. If you have one, having an external card doesn't make a difference. Uh, but I'll show you instructions based on internal SD card because not everyone has an external. Okie doke. So, oh boy, what's going on? Uh, I am actually running it right now. Let me just show you guys as proof. But I'm going to redo it just for the sake of you YouTubers to teach you some stuff. Uh, as you can see, I'm running the Rogers version. And here, Android 4.0.4, where are you? Cyan Engine Mod 9, Release Candidate 2, right here. It says Skyrocket, even though I'm running a Rogers version, but like I said, it's just the ROM doing that. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to boot into recovery, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to boot into recovery, even though you should already know that if you have recovery installed. If not, here's a recap. You your phone has to be powered off. You're going to press and hold both volume buttons. I assume this is the same thing for uh, AT&T users. If not, just look it up on the net. Uh, but anyway, give, th give this a try first. Hold down both volume buttons, at the s and at the same time, press and hold the power button. And continue to hold everything until you feel the vibration, let go of the power button and clockwork mod recovery should start up okay there we go this is touch recovery uh, so basically you should have your zip files already on the phone and what you're gonna do is first hit wipe data factory reset scroll down until you find yes hit yes you see it's doing its thing I'm gonna be doing when it comes to wiping data I'm gonna do each step twice just so that we're 
sure that everything gets wiped and yes I should have stated this earlier but it's clearly evident as you can tell by now that everything will be erased off your phone so if you want to back it up do it before you follow this any further but you should already know that from my wording because I say wipe data factory reset again he's doing his thing uh, at the main menu you're gonna see an option that says wipe cache partition scroll down until you find it do this step twice Okay, so basically, we have to assume that everything's wiped cleanly. We're ready to flash Cyanogen Mod 9, so let's do that. Uh, so what you're going to do from the main menu is hit Install Zip from SD Card. And if you put it on the internal SD Card, you're going to choose Zip from internal SD Card. If it's on your external, you just choose the top option. But because I put it on the internal, I'm going to choose Zip from internal SD Card. You're going to scroll all the way down until you find the zip file. And this is the important part. You're gonna have you should have only two zip files here. One should say CM 9.0.0 RC2. That's the ROM. The, the bottom one says G apps. Those are the Google apps. But we're gonna ignore the Google apps for now. We're gonna install the ROM. So hit the RC2 Skyrocket first. Install. This is gonna take a little while, so we'll continue when it's done. Okay, so installing the ROM took about three minutes roughly. It says finding update package, opening update package, installing update. At the bottom it said install from SD card complete. I ended up back at the zip file menu. So now we're going to install the Google Apps. So again, mine is in the internal SD card, so I'm going to select that. If yours is on the external, you choose the top option where it says choose zip from SD card. So I'm going to select from internal SD card, scroll all the way down. And again, as I said this time, we're installing G apps because the Google apps hit that. Select yes. Let it do its thing. This one shouldn't take as long as the actual ROM. Um, but we'll continue once this part is finished. Okay, so it's done. You're going to hit go back. You're at the main menu of Clockwork My Recovery. And the top option says uh, reboot system now. Select it. Your phone's going to restart. Now, the first time you install CyanogenMod Mod, 9 or any ROM for that matter it takes like uh, between 2 to 4 minutes to start that's because the first startup is going to take a while your, your system's getting used to it here's the cool new animation that comes with your phone uh, but basically let that do its thing like I said if you want to see a demonstration of the ROM in action and a review of the pros and cons hit the link down here which I show you in that video um, I believe that's pretty much it if you got this far it, your, your phone is pretty much set. Now, one question people tend to ask is, hey, what about CyanogenMod Mod 10, which is based off Jelly Bean? Will our device ever get that? My answer for that is, I have no clue. I would really like to hope so, because I'm in the same boat uh, as you guys who are watching this video. But if you really want to find out, you're going to have to ask the Cyanogen Mod team by asking in their forums. So it's it's really a toss-up in the air. It's, it's anyone's guess at this point. Only they know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you found this video useful, feel free to check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.